Hi everyone, and welcome back to Arcade Trader Center. Well, I may be smiling, but on the outside, but on the inside, I'm a little bit disheartened. And the reason being is I received the ultimate you do not want to receive case, and that is item not received. Yeah, that was pretty disheartening because this was for a gold necklace. And when he said he didn't receive it, my heart sunk because it was sold for a really good price. I also sold a few other items today and I want to talk about that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I, yeah, I'm really was disheartened about that uh, gold necklace because I picked it up for a couple dollars at a garage sale. I bought it out of some costume jewelry and I was really happy that when I found it, turned around and listed. Now I find gold jewelry at garage sales and very, few but sometimes at thrift shops and i usually always put them up for auction on ebay and they sell and i never have a problem i have never had a problem so this is the swiss mar vacuum pump this is a wine saver it sold for ten dollars plus shipping i think i paid about dollar 99 for it at the thrift shop not much but a little profit so anyway the necklace sold without a problem the buyer paid for it wrapped it up really good put it in a little gift box i got little boxes i got gift boxes up there i put always put jewelry in gift boxes wrapped it up bubble wrapped it boxed it up mailed it out that's not a problem okay so i forgot all about it left my mind it's been a little while so i get this message saying item not received when i look it up the buyer said that he never received his item now i've got to give it to this buyer he was very 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 patient because when i looked the tracking shows that it left down here where i'm at in mission texas and went to rutherford indiana and that's where he is is in rutherford indiana it got all the way there to the post office tracking stops nothing and it was 10 days it's been 10 days sitting or lost or whatever at rutherford indiana no updates nothing from the ups so the buyer has been waiting for like almost 15 days plus now for this item and shows that it hasn't been received or well obviously he didn't it didn't receive it i look it up i go i actually go to the post office because i have to take some packages that i sold items like today and in fact one of the things that sold and i'm about to pull is some rc parts i've been doing really well with them in fact, the box I filled up with here, and if you watched my last video, I had a whole bunch of RC parts and they have been flying off the shelf. I've been selling all kinds of parts. This was RC Motors. And as you can see, it was two columns. Now it's down to one. And I believe one of those sold today. I'll have to check out. And when I got down to the leftovers, a lot of stuff of RC parts that were not, um, say packaged or loose or maybe even some used. I lot it together in one big bag and listed an auction starting at a dollar. And someone in France won the auction and paid $91 plus shipping. Oh my gosh, I think they paid like $25 to get it shipped over there. Plus the shipping I had on top. So it sold for 91, they paid for like $135 total. So that was pretty good. So now I don't have to worry about RC parts. And I did learn a lot about RC parts. Let me tell you, I said in the last video, I was going to learn a lot about RC parts. Oh, I did. I learned a lot about RC parts, trying to list all those things. In fact, that's the tackle box that had all those RC parts. And I still have a couple things on top, but the rest is completely empty. So I was happy about that. Back to the necklace. Okay. So I go to the post office. Oh, I'm not even looking for whatever the next item is. EMP8. Okay. So I go to the post office. I talk to the guy there. I show him the tracking number. He goes over to the computer, pulls it up, looks at it. He's gone for about two, three minutes. Comes back and says, the item says it's in Rutherford, Indiana, and that it's going to be delivered. I'm like, oh, how's it going to be delivered if it's in, been sitting there for 10 days? Anyway, the guy says, uh, says it's, you know, out for delivery. I'm like, okay, I bought it. So I messaged the eBay buyer and I told him, hey, I went to the post office and he said, the post office worker told me it was out for delivery. Keep an eye out for it. Let me know. And of course, I'm going to keep track of it also. Okay, so I'm going over here to EMP8. EMP. Anything that's ephemera, small cards, things like that, small items. Uh, I put it here. I call it 
EMP for ephemera. Anyway, what this is, is some GPAA gold patch and bumper sticker. I'll pull it out and show it to you. And uh, this right here, let's see. I don't know if I can dump it out with my hand. There it is. Okay, so this is GPAA patch. These are all vintage from like 1970s. Never used. This is backwards because it's a window, window decal. It's a member. And this is a member bumper sticker. Uh, these came in a box of some random stuff that I purchased. Had a bunch of other ephemera and different stuff in it. So really no, no money into this. And this sold for $10.00 plus shipping actually 9.95 plus shipping so when i got home i did a little bit more research i did a little bit more looking into it and i said okay i'm gonna give it a day two days because i i have whatever it is 48 hours 72 hours to respond to this item not received so I thought, okay, I'm going to wait a day and see what happens. I mean, if it says that the post officer guy, post officer guy, if the post office worker tells me it's getting ready to be delivered, I'm going to say it's going to be with delivered by the next day, right? Okay. So the next day passes. Guess what? Nothing changed in the system. Nothing. So... I went ahead and placed a phone call to the UPS. And this is where things are going to get real interesting. Okay. More RC parts sold. All right. So I had a buyer buy these three items right here. These three little packages. B3 T3 Trans Rebuild. And what I learned was that's a buggy and a truck. B3 T3. Buggy and a truck. See, I told you I learned about RC stuff. So he bought these two packages here, which is identical. And this little tiny, I don't know if you see it, this little tiny gear. Anyway, he paid $27.90 for those three things plus shipping. So, yeah, things like that have been selling really good. All right, so back to the post office. No, yeah, back to the post office. I call the USPS. USPS says, looks it up, and they said, the item says that it's supposed to be out for delivery. And I said, okay, but it's been sitting for 10 days. So to me, that tells me it's lost. And he said, well, we'll look at it. I'll notate it right down here that you called, questioned about it, incident number or whatever they get, something. He gave me, a, I'm going to call it an incident number. I don't know what you call it, but he gave me a number and said that it should be out for delivery. At this point in time, you know what i'm i'm already in my mind i'm saying no something ain't right okay so then i wait till the next day now I, you gotta understand i'm into that 48 hours gonna head to that 72 hour mark plus i've been sending little updates to the buyer including what everybody's telling me i've gave him the incident number i i told him that the that the post office said it was out for delivery this kind of stuff and i told him i said i'm going to check and if it's not, I'm probably going to go ahead and refund you your money. Let me explain one thing about this. Generally, I don't buy insurance. However, whenever I sell jewelry, gold jewelry, high value things, I always buy insurance. Would you believe this one time? No, not this guy. He doesn't buy insurance. Fortunately, with the new ground advantage, ground advantage items are supposed to be covered up to one hundred dollars you used to have to priority was always different and everything you had to buy all this extra insurance for anything over a hundred dollars and i guess in my mind i probably said oh you know what this is a 125 dollar item it's going to make it and if it doesn't oh i'll get a hundred dollars maybe you know i don't know what i was thinking but i didn't buy insurance because ground advantage covers up to one hundred dollars i don't know that's so dumb. Anyway, I've been doing eBay for like 12, 13 years now. You would think I would be a little smarter than this, but I guess I wasn't. Anyhow, the next day goes. So now, okay, so now I, I am in. I am in the zone. I have to. I wake up the next morning. I look. I look on the computer. Everything still hasn't moved. Still hasn't done anything. Right then and there, I went ahead and sent a refund to the guy. 
and I said, uh, you know, hey, sorry, it doesn't look like it's moved, doesn't look like it's been delivered, doesn't see anything moving and tracking. At this point in time, I'm thinking, you know what? I hate this call, $125 lost, but that, because that's money in your pocket, that's gas, groceries, dinner, whatever, buying more merchandise. But what's right is right. And what's wrong was wrong. And that guy did everything right. He was patient. He was nice. He was kind. Every time I wrote him, he sent me a nice me message. Thanks for keeping me informed. Thanks for keeping me up to date. Everything. So I went ahead and I refunded him the $125. So at that point in time, I wait until, oh, I don't know, after noon time, just, just on the off chance that it got delivered. But I, I knew it wasn't going to, and come about, I don't know, it was 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock p.m., I decided to go ahead and do the right thing that I should be doing, and that's open up a lost item claim with the USPS. Actually, it's fairly quite simple. Uh, I order a lot of packages, uh, not packages, uh, free shipping supplies from the USPS. So I've got a little account. And I just log in, go to claims, went down, filed a lost claim. Which, when I filed a lost claim, it popped up and showed me that I had filed two lost claims probably, uh, I think it was about three years ago. <clears throat> or no, lost claims, damage claims. And it was... Uh, art picture uh with glass and whatnot and that was probably an error but anyway when it arrived that people told me it was broken and i i had that feeling when i mailed it that i wrapped it i wrapped it up very well let me tell you i wrapped it up very well but that item got broke and so they sent me pictures and i filed a claim for that three years ago and it was like 25 dollars and plus shipping and i uh filed the claim and it came back denied even though there was pictures even though i showed the address even though all that came back as denied didn't have a reason or anything and maybe i forgot maybe i didn't ever look at it. maybe i was supposed to respond to something an email and i never did but i didn't ever get back and it was like three years ago i'm like what the heck i i, I thought i got paid for back for that because i filed a claim i'm gonna win this right mm, okay so now i'm really worried about this necklace claim because i didn't have the insurance it just shows the tracking reaching the place but never actually getting delivered i'm like oh crap okay what am i gonna do i don't know what i'm gonna do what's the next thing i'm looking for i'm over here jibber jabbing telling you the story uh t2 pqrs t2 all right so we get down here all right so this is a back joy care bath seat just a foam bath seat picked this up at the thrift store for about two two bucks and this sold for really quickly because i just listed it a couple days ago so this sold for 34.99 that was with free shipping and this thing's gonna go out for about a pound weight so um that was about the average price that they were all selling for and majority of them that people were selling these for were with free shipping so that's where i went and like i said i had a list for about three days now it's old. All right. So what else can I tell you about that update? So right now, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on. I'm waiting for a USPS response. Um, if I don't hear something in a day or two, I'll call. Oh, I did. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what. So when I went back and dropped off packages, I told the post office guy, I saw the same one. I talked to him, said that package never got delivered and I got a claim number. I guess that's what it is. No, an incident number. So the guy typed in the incident number. Guess what? That incident number didn't exist. And again, I'm calling it incident. So the guy I spoke to on at USPS that gave me a number, that number doesn't exist. Um, so, hey, if you're watching this guy, I don't know if you told me a story or what happened, but that number didn't exist. So I told him I filed a claim and he said, you know, that's fine. Uh, that's what I'm supposed to do. And that's what I did. So I filed a claim. So that's what we're going to do. And now I forgot what I was looking for because I was talking in 30. Oh, so this is some actually. So this is something good to talk about. So I come over here to S2 and in this bin, I sold these. Okay. These white packages, there's four of them right there are 
well see if you can see it nose guards let me take it over the table and i'll show it to you so these are air cushions for a resmed and they're simple little nose cushions there's four packs and i had them listed and you can see i had these together so i had a, a listings of two a piece and a guy bought both all four that i had he paid $59.99. Is that the correct? $59.98 plus tax. Uh, shipping. Oh, plus shipping uh, and tax. So a total of $64.03. Doesn't cost anything to mail those. It's going to be about $4 to mail those out. It's really lightweight. People say you cannot sell CPAC stuff on eBay. That is not true. And as you can see, that's what these are. And they go to the ResMed face mask because they're nose cushions. And yes, you can, as long as, if you're looking at the front cover of this, as long as nothing on here says RX, RX meaning prescription. As long as it's not a prescribed item. Certain things are prescribed. The CPAP, they call it a CPAP. The CPAP machine is a prescription item. The some masks, full masks. I mean, I'm talking about head harness, the mask itself, plus the nose cushions or whatever cushion is on there. Sometimes you get them from your doctor's office or pharmacy and they'll have a prescription label on them. However, if you go out and you find CPAP hoses, cushions, unopened, brand new, still in the package, as long as it doesn't say RX, you can sell that on eBay. People do it all the time. I've been doing it for years without a problem. And I sold another RC motor. I told you earlier that I said I thought I sold one and I sold this one right here. This one is called the Raven. If you're not into RCs, like I'm not in RCs, it doesn't really mean a lot, except for these little motors have been selling for me for really good, anywhere from $10 to like this one because I guess the name to me they're all they're all the same but anyway because of the name this one's a Raven Peak Racing Motor sold for $25 plus shipping and those are all the items that I sold today and they were a total of $320 before my mailing cost and fees I'm going to keep you updated with everything that's going on so Keep an eye out for my videos. If you subscribe, great. If you don't, hey, that's great too. Just all I ask is two things. One, if you can hit that thumbs up button, that's what makes it for a, a video, that and comments. And if you want to leave a comment down below, if there's anything you saw on today's video or anything that you thought maybe you have a question about, let me know. And until next time, everyone take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Bye-bye.